Hey, what's up Shrinkipers and welcome back to my channel. So in today's topic, we want to share with you guys about a stream room update uh, in terms of the research and the project we have been doing. Uh, just want to give a brief and brief an update uh, on where we are uh, and what is the you know the solution to to, to the to the challenges that we actually have. Uh, of course, we have a problem statement and then of course we try to you know try to rectify it uh, and we got a solution for for it. Uh, however, before we dive into today's topic, uh, I just wanted to give a special shout out to those who have given very kind comments in my uh, previous videos. Uh, appreciate it. And for those who are uh, new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And for those who are uh, you know, wants to see a lot of other contents, please remember to write in the comment section below. Uh, we will read through that and definitely, you know, as time goes by, we will have your video uh, being, being done. And you know, today is uh, something very special. We, so I actually completed my half marathon again. So uh, definitely uh, appreciate the, the people who have been uh, running with me as well. Uh, it takes a lot of time, effort, and of course, you know, uh, determination to actually go through all this. Uh, so in today's topic, you know, we talk about, you know, what are some of the, the things that we have been updating in the stream room. Uh, in the previous few videos, actually, we, we shared that, you know, we have been looking at some of this float valve and, and the problem statement is actually, you know, how do we actually um, continue to use, utilize uh, half inch pipes to actually go right directly into the tank uh, without um, reducing the, the, the flow rate. And the reason is because when water goes into an RODI unit or a DI unit that I'm using, uh, it slows down. If you use a one quarter or three eight, it slows down the flow of it. Of course, the pressure increases, but the flow of the the flow of the water actually slows down. And and so we we try to look at some of these various uh, float valve in the market. Uh, we have actually got uh, quite a number of it. You know, some different different float valves and different usage as well. You know. Uh, however, at the end of the day, none of this actually work uh, to our set up. So it doesn't mean that it wouldn't work for you guys, but however, it didn't work for us. Uh, a few things that we actually take into consideration is because, you know, um, one of the things is that we need to have a mount to actually mount it onto a tank, right? So we need to mount it on the tank. Uh, there are various mounts in, in the market, you know, we have this mount. Uh, there are different mounts, however, you know, with this mounts, you can see that it's, it's fairly tight. Uh, in, in that sense, however, I'm not even sure if this works. Uh, it's too tight, so this doesn't really work. It's not for this. Um, and we have actually this one over here. That is a very simple plastic. Uh, you can put it there, and then the water comes out. However, the water that flows out from this this uh, this device is a bit of a of a splashing mode. You know, when it comes slower and slower, the water comes out slower and slower. It becomes uh, very abrupt um, and the water keeps splashing in, in, in various direction because the reason is because as it goes slower the water is slower however the pressure of it is, is much greater so it, it kind of like uh, amplify and, and sp spray the water everywhere and uh, this one over here is a stainless steel one it has a good uh, clamp and holder however you know it's a bit too short for our liking uh, we want to actually get to this level of uh, water level. So this is, you can see over here, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, it's a bit too short. You know, it's a bit too short in that sense. Uh, so when it reaches up um, the tank, the water actually covers, almost almost goes up to the, the top of the, of the tank as well. So that's not ideal. Uh, actually, I like this uh, quite a lot because um, it actually comes in here and then it has a, has a spout that you know, diffuses uh, the, the pressure and it, it comes down uh, nicely. However, you know, this one doesn't, doesn't, I mean, it, it fits well over here. However, we are unable to adjust, uh, adjust this. So, you know, with all of this in mind, we didn't select any of this. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got a total of six. Uh, so the number six one actually got the uh, selection and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, right away. So 
So this is actually the uh, float valve that we actually selected for the implementation for all the tanks and one of the reasons for this is because it has adjustable heights. You can actually see that uh, it has adjustable heights. Uh, it's able to actually clamp, uh, clamp with this and of course you know uh, the ability to actually hold this in place. I think that's something that uh, we, we really like in, in terms of this design. Um, at the end of this you know from uh, Half an, half an inch, uh, we actually step down to this one quarter inch uh, so that we can actually slow down the flow, the flow rate uh, before it hits the tank. So this is something that we will be implementing and we have tested out. Uh, it's fairly good in, in our perspective. When it's all fully set and done, then of course uh, we will give you another update. So that configuration is being done like that. So let me just maybe uh, put it back here to show you guys how it will look in future. So it probably be something like that and for the different types of tanks like for example this tank or this tank you can actually see that uh, it's being here the the one quarter uh, output is here so we probably will be looking at you know looping it behind and then putting it here so uh, that's something that we want to uh, take a look at and of course you know we wanted to give you an update on on the uh, di system as well uh, over here you can actually see that it's it's now fully done uh, we are thinking of maybe putting something over here like a poster or something uh, over here and you know we have also you know kind of like run some nice switches over here we have the usb charging we have the 5 volt so the 5 volt is actually for this uh, this uh, temperature over here is a bit hot it's 26.4 degrees uh, the reason is because there is no streams over here at this point of time so we are still keeping it cool uh, we also have this uh, flow meter as well. Uh, you, you can actually track the, the, the daily flow rate. And of course, you can also track your monthly utilization of the flow rate as well. So over here, you can see that we use a, a pump to actually pump up the water. And uh, maybe I'll just give a demo in terms of, you know, uh, how fast the uh, water comes out from the DI unit. And is it really, you know, TDS zero, you know, something that we want to actually share as well. All right, so here we are in terms of the demo. Uh, we got this, uh, you can actually see that it's, it's running this. This unit actually uh, automatically turns on itself and turns off itself. Uh, when there's water flowing through this, it will automatically pick it up and uh, it will then start the count. So for example, right now, if let's say I'm going to just turn this switch on, I have already turned this, this uh, Wi-Fi device on, it's going to go through here, it's going to go through here and then we will block this, we will block this over here, so it will come over here and down into this filtration, this uh, sentiment filter goes up, comes down, not going to bypass this, it's going to go down to this DI unit. And just for the purpose of the test, uh, what we're going to do is that we're just going to have this over here. In the past, it was right there, so we wanted to sh we shifted it over here so that now we have, uh, you know, water access, you know, pure water over here uh, that we can actually get in terms of the uh, uh, water that comes out from here. So just to test, uh, just gonna remove this. You're gonna see how fast the flow is. Just gonna turn this on. You can actually see that it is at 43 liters per minute. And this is how fast you can actually hear the sound. It's actually very fast. It's gonna overflow. Just gonna switch this off. And you know, look at this. There's a lot of uh, water in terms of time and we're going to just test it to actually see if it's zero TDS. You can actually see that it's zero TDS. I'm going to bring it up again and put it down. It's zero TDS. So, so you can see that actually uh, in terms of um, utilization it's actually very uh, fast and very efficient because there's no time wasted in terms of, of it. So it's really, really quick. And yeah, so I think that's, uh, that's
that's all for the update for this this episode i think you know stay tuned for more updates on on this uh so for those who like this stuff and for those who you know who is new to this channel please remember to subscribe to this channel and until next time peace out